Hi beautifuls, welcome to my channel, if you're new, hi, my name is KK, um, so today I wanted to talk to you about something, before I go into training for this new job that I just got, um, wearing the famous ponytail, but yeah, so I just wanted to talk about, like, comparison, and how it's you versus you, it's not you versus anybody else it's not you versus um no other girl no other male no other species species on this planet it's you versus you and i used to always like compare and like be like so jealous when i was younger like when i was like maybe 18 16 because i never really got told you're so beautiful you're so this you're so that you're so brave and smart i never really got like the love and affection in my home so i thought that like i wasn't pretty and i always had this like like not enoughness in me and i thought that other girls had more than me i thought that other girls were more worthy than me but that's not the case um i'm just as worthy you know um I always had this like I'm not pretty enough then if you know if your mother is not telling you you're you're not pretty or you're not smart or or not let me rephrase that if you are not getting positive affirmations at home it's going to be very hard for you to when you get older to realize that you are enough and you are worthy a lot of the times when I was younger I had this like such like lack inside of me um, like feeling like I'm not pretty enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not cool enough, I'm not popular enough, I'm not this enough. I always had these thoughts in my mind, but God reminded me every time, not even every time, but when I started to grow closer to God, I realized that I am fearfully and wonderfully made, you know? It's not even about just my looks, it's about my heart, it's about my personality, it's about what I have to offer, it's about knowing that I'm here for a reason i'm here because god created me for a purpose you know and it's like when you don't get that positive affirmations you really will like when you are like i'm 22 right now i just turned 22 maybe a couple months ago not maybe a couple months ago but i did um and i'm realizing how hard it was and how hard it was on myself because i didn't realize that I'm freaking worthy, I am freaking beautiful, I am freaking smart, and I don't have to compare my hair to somebody else's, my looks to somebody else's, my style, my appearance, my character, anything, I don't have to compare. I really hope you guys can hear me because it is windy as hell in Texas. Uh, every day since I have been here, it has been super windy, but we are gonna get through this video because there are probably so many beautiful girls out there who compare themselves and then that's why you never feel enough and it's like god didn't want you to be her or you would have been her but you're not and sometimes not even sometimes but like another thing i want to point out too is when you have these feelings of like i'm not this enough i'm not this enough just a whole bunch of feelings of like not enoughness you're going to tend to I don't know you're just gonna tend to like like try and fit in you're gonna try to fit in and change your personality because you don't think that your personality is unique and gorgeous and beautiful um, and bright um, so a lot of the times you're gonna change your personality in why? Why change your personality for to be around people who aren't even being it, getting really to see the real you? Aren't really being able to see the real you? Um, and so you're just around a bunch of people who are probably faking as well. But that's another topic. <laughs> I digress. But all I'm here to tell you is god has stuff that is specifically for you 
It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank account. God has your spouse and that's your spouse alone. God has your position for a job or a business or whatever it may be for you specifically. It's not for nobody else. It's not for her because she's light skin or and this is for guys too i don't know if guys be comparing themselves to but this is for definitely guys too who be comparing themselves um with with just like oh he has more money than me he has a car whatever the case may be like god has things for you at a specific time and you cannot you cannot compare you just can't and I have struggled with this all my life and I know where it comes from like I said from positive reinforcement I got one. I had to be my own mother I had to basically mother my own self on top of being a kid so it's like that's another story that's another story about just like unavailable parents parents who are unavailable emotionally don't nurture you nourish you fulfill your soul and your spirit with what you, your basic needs are as a human being, but that's where a lot of your not enoughness comes from. But like I said, that's another video. I wanna really talk about like not comparing who you are because you can get so distracted and not even realize that maybe that other person is comparing you, like comparing towards you and you don't even realize. A lot of the times I always thought that like, Oh my god i'm so introverted and yes maybe i am a little bit shy sometimes i can get a little shy and there's nothing wrong with getting shy because it, deep down everybody has insecurities everybody has flaws whether or not they can hide it better is their problem and theirs alone but sometimes i can get shy and then there's sometimes there are girls who are very extroverted um you know very talkative very you know loud and stuff like that and it's and it's and it always made me question myself, like, should I be? And I, and I know a lot of the times, some people are really there to show you your lights um, and parts of yourself that you're not owning. But here's my bus to get on for work. I have to go run. Hold on. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, okay. But yeah, so um, I guess I wasn't gonna just because <laughs> I just ran like crazy. But yeah, so I just wanted to quickly just remind you guys that you are worthy. You're freaking beautiful. Please just accept who you are because you are the only you in this freaking planet okay i'm gonna go because the wind is crazy but i think i made my point i love you guys and i will see you in the next video make sure to like subscribe and comment if you want to whatever you want to just show me some love all right i love you bye